I uh, first came to uh, Los Angeles uh, as a law student, I took a job as organist at another local church, uh, and uh, when possible, I came to First Church to visit. I became a friend of Lloyd Holscraft, who was then organist in residence, and in 1962, I became a member of First Church and also was appointed assistant organist. In that capacity, I have served since then. I was fascinated by the great organs of uh, First Church, which then were not so great. Uh, the uh, chancel organ was the Seely Wintersmith Mud Memorial Organ. The organ was uh, built by Ernest Skinner. When First Church erected uh, its uh, present uh, Gothic edifice in 1931, it was only natural that they would look to Skinner to build uh, the organ that came to be here. This was not the largest organ in Los Angeles when it was built. I believe that honor went to Emmanuel Presbyterian Church, which had an instrument of five or six more ranks. But this was a beautiful instrument. That was before the merger that later resulted in the Aeolian Skinner uh, Organ Company. Skinner was known for building uh, what later came to be called the Classic American or the American Classic Organ. And uh, Skinner organs and later Aeolian Skinner organs were found in uh, many churches across America. Skinner was not the largest American organ builder, nor was he the oldest American organ builder, but Skinner organs were highly uh, uh, valued and placed in many very large churches across America. The uh, Skinner organ had some beautiful stops on it. There was a flauta mirabilis and a tuba mirabilis. That uh, flute mirabilis, if you uh, take it on the forefoot and uh, take the unison off so that you have only a forefoot uh, on it, it has the most beautiful uh, uh, qualities that you'll find any place. Skinner possessed a lifelong interest and obsession with orchestral color and its application to the pipe organ. The first of his new stops, the Erzaller, created a lovely whispering tone. E.M. Skinner perfected other exotic tonal colors which were very true to their orchestral counterparts, including the oboe, the English horn, and the flugelhorn. In addition to his orchestral color reeds, Skinner was known for the mellow tone and blending qualities of his diapason and trumpet stops. Of all the new stops he invented, the French horn is the best known and was ultimately patented by Skinner. To increase the orchestral qualities of his instruments, Skinner built large parts of his instruments behind thick wooden swell shades. The organist controls the opening and closing of these shades by depressing special expression pedals, thereby increasing or decreasing the sound emanating from the organ chamber. The Ernest Skinner swell shades were known for being able to close down to almost nothing, so you can have this great raging sound behind a a choir of 12 and yet it doesn't uh, drown them out.
most organs have one division behind swell shades. The mud memorial organ contains three, the swell, choir, and solo divisions.